The Swedish dairy technology company De Laval has publicly unveiled what it says is the world's first commercial robotic rotary milking machine in Tasmania this week. It's a step forward from the single stool box robotic milking systems in that it allows large numbers of cows to be milked simultaneously. The principal difference on the rotary of course is that we're using four automatic uh, arms at any one time whereas only one on the single box but that enables us to scale and milk the number of cows uh, that we're trying to achieve in, a, in the uh, high capacity systems. The Tasmanian operation will be available for Kiwi farmers to check out from October this year and De Laval says that the new AMRs give farmers a lot more flexibility. So basically now instead of doing the operational work of cupping cows and, and the drudgery of doing that. Farmers and farm managers now can spend time doing a lot more um, higher value work, I guess. And, and so going to the computer, to pulling out reports and, and data and information allows them to really focus on, on the high value jobs that were always neglected while you were milking cows. And so it's allowing the farmers now to, I guess what I call focus on the $100 an hour job on the farm rather than just doing the $10 an hour job. So straight away in terms of productivity gains, we see, we see some bigger gains there. And it will allow farmers to up the size of their herds while keeping labour costs down. We, we're in a marketplace with growing herd size. What we're seeing um, and what we see with the, with the uh, commercial installation in Tasmania is that Traditionally the 300, 350 cow farm has been a really good uh, owner operator plus one person model and been highly profitable. What we're trying now to do is really scale that up to the 600 cow farm and keeping that labor, uh, those labour units in place. So can you tell us a little bit about the technology that this new system features? Here on the automatic milking rotary we've got five robots that work there. So we've got the first two robots that do the teat preparation, so we clean, sanitise and dry and strip the first milk from the teats. Yeah. The second two robots cup the cows, then basically we do quarter milking on the cows, so that's really valuable in terms of collecting milk information from the cows from, from a milk conductivity and, and blood perspective, So and from that we can actually model uh, risk of mastitis. And then just before the cow leaves the platform we've got another robot that uh, sprays the teats with precision spraying the teats so we use very small amounts of teat spray but we get a really good coverage and very good uh, application of, of, of teat spray on the cows. Benedict Collins, Country 99 TV News.